Hello and welcome, I'm the Emperor and this is Crusader Kings 3 and we're playing through the Iranian Intermezzo with the idea of me trying to explain the things while I'm doing them, as I'm doing them, so you can get an idea of how to play this as well. Not necessarily just the Iranian Intermezzo, but overall, the game at large. And the Iranian Intermezzo concerns itself with this huge landmass that's currently outlined here, with the orange border there, so the Abbasid Empire is slightly a part of it and we control a certain amount not not the smallest amount but also not the biggest amount of this whole land mass that all this is concerned with and we'll be looking around having a little look so what can we have we could found the new caliphate uh, except we cannot and it doesn't actually tell us what we need to do that so if we click that now we get to see so our realm size needs to be Larger than that of uh, Caliph al Mutaz. Our faith must not have the Sunni doctrine. Uh, we must be a detractor, of course, makes sense. We have at least two allies that hold the kingdom title, which we do not have. Ramsai's um, of the Bavandid Grand Emirate is 50 or more, which it currently isn't. So that's an either or. Any of your realm, Baranis, is a holy site of Asharism. Okay, so. There are some some options, like dominate the caliphate instead. Interesting stuff, where we could basically push the Abbasid caliphate, or rather the, the Al-Mutaz caliph, uh, off and become our own. Uh, what we could also do is renew the Iranian, uh, renew the caliphate, which would give us what? We can't be independent. As a non-Sunni faith. Oh, no, 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 no. No independent or involved interloper, duke or higher as non-Sunni faith. So we need to take care of these. So if we want to restore this, Dynasty Sassanid gets 10,000 renown. Hashimid gets 10,000 renown. The house heads of your house and the house opposite gain permanent access to subjugate Kazasbeli against all Muslim branches. Muslim rulers will no longer be able to create dissolution factions or independence factions against the Sunni Caliph. Okay. Uh, so this would be more sensible for Caliph Al-Mutaz here. He gets a lot out of that. But yeah, Iranian Resurgent is also another option that we can go for. You gain the nickname Flame of Persia. We get the Persian Empire. Uh, we get some prestige, which doesn't really matter all that much. Dynasty Sassanid gets Flame of Persia. Okay, that's pretty cool. So this would be better for us. Only us. Our level of fame needs to be this. We need to control at least 30% of the Persian Empire. And we need to have at least one of these. Everything else we already kind of got taken care of there. Though this might decrease... You have at least two Iranian heritage allies that hold kingdom titles. At least 40 Iranian heritage counties in your realm, which is currently 18. So wherever, wherever there's a high acceptance or a high Iranian culture, basically. So you might go for Iranian resurgence, really. So the Persian Empire is all this... That is here outlined, so we have a lot of room to work towards still. So going east, especially, taking care of all these fools over there, slowly but surely. But we have a bunch of smaller realms right at our borders, which we can still try and absorb. Uh, smaller, of course, is very relative around here. And we're looking at a rebellion in 12 months. Some peasants will be propping up. Let's check ourselves. We are 32 already. Feels like yesterday he took the crown. Let's go and pause the game. This, this is really... I mean, that is... That is kind of crazy. We have one whole lover. Which is nice. Which is nice. But I feel like we should absolutely... Oh, we're invited to a hunt. We will not arrive to the hunt in time. Oops. Let's see... Uh, someone gives us some money for his release. I don't mind. Have it. 
We could also release this guy who is someone over there. Don't care. Take the money. Absolutely. Let's go. And next we want to grow a little bit more. So look at this huge kingdom. This is still fairly weak for what it is. What can you do with you? Conquer the county. Against 1,400. I think we're just going to go. I think we're just gonna go. The little rebellion there is not gonna be a problem for us, so... We're going. We're organizing our troops. And we should fairly comfortably win. We are an extremely good leader. So the only thing really standing against us is... His defensive buildings. But, yeah, we're doing fine. There's a lot of very good rulers and leaders down here, I must admit. It's quite something. Oh, we need to appoint tax collectors. Actually, both. Why? Where did everyone go? So, average aptitude definitely gets this one. Also explains why we don't get so much money at the moment. Because we didn't have a tax collector for some reason. So he will keep attacking us now, but it's an absolutely assured victory. We have everything going for us. The only thing he really counters is our pike. Doesn't matter. And we have fully crushed his army now. We captured someone who then died. Okay. Basically, we captured him with our sword point. Which is... Immediately jumped into it for joy. I will. That is the story as I will tell it. Let's see. You want to make a scale armor. And you are renowned throughout the world. Okay, let's see. 200 gold for it. Oh, that's big, but I think we're going to take it. We don't have armor yet. And I would like to have some armor. It's a lot of money, mind. But... It's important. Okay, so this one here is just a strategical event and we're gonna go with the best option which we get because we're so good at war which gives us everything and everyone else gets everything as well so we get just all the bonuses here for five years which is nice. One of our prisoners died in our dungeon. Uh, well, what can you do? Life is difficult. So we're just gonna war ourselves deeper into Persian Empire domination here. Oh, why do we have so many troops all of a sudden? That must be because of our tax collectors here. Must be. Okay, let's enforce some demands here. And we'll disband our troops. And we have a bunch of land to give away again. So let's check our succession line here. We're going to lose a bunch of titles, of course, because we have some kids that still need to go around. Oh, boy. Let's set this guy to be... I don't know. I think we don't have anyone on diplomacy focus, and he's pretty good at that. So let's go for this. Let's find him a good wife with a good alliance power and maybe an inevitable trade. I'm not too fussed about those. I'm more fussed about getting here some power. So that's pretty good. We'll take that, and then this lad, lad once this uh, is taken, very good. Now he gets something down here. I think he just gets Quom and this. Now, Quom is one of mine. So he gets these two. Which would then put it as four out of four, so that's fine. And we will now negotiate an alliance with them immediately. As is tradition, all of our children will have alliances with us. Where we can manage. I don't know why we do sometimes have some people here where we do not have an alliance yet. And of course we can't negotiate with absolutely everyone. But I should think we will try. Alright, next target. Now we are growing big and strong again. 
Still no good reason for us to just willy-nilly take on big stuff. Might as well just keep going for smaller things. Is this just the county? No, this is more. So conquering a duchy is 218 prestige costs us. He has no allies. He has enough gold potentially to hire some mercenaries. So that's something to keep in mind. But we do have allies to potentially call in if we need. So we'll just go ahead and keep pushing south, I think. So let's move these closer to the border. Call to war, sure. We'll join. Oh, it's right next to where we're going anyway. Okay, goody. So we just have to beat him and then potentially go south. Oh. Oh, our ally is in a bit of a extremely large pickle here. And our enemy flees into the mountains. So we'll just siege this down. What's up with you? Okay, he will not accept. This will cause us a lot of Diamond tyranny. One demands the imperial hydrate. Good evening, Diamond Sun One, and thank you so much. I'll start with a good hydrated stream. That sounds really good to me. So this guy is fermenting a faction here. I don't mind, honestly. Let him come. We'll crush him with our allies. Demand submission. What? It is enough to reckon. Uh, it is not enough to reckon. We must also. Um. What? Effects on us. We gain 500. Caliphal submission. I don't want a strong hook from him. Trait. Okay, we can't be a supporter anymore. Okay, what's the worst thing that can happen if the Caliph gets a strong hook on us? That is a... That is a little bit concerning. I don't like having hooks on me. Nah. Could he force us to... Become a vassal? I don't know, he has delusions of grandeur. We might just... Decline. But will he then attack us? I mean, he's much more powerful than us. And I'd rather not be attacked by him, you know. But I also... I mean, if he absorbs us, we're just gonna take this thing apart from the inside. So we're just gonna go with it. So far, we have been very much on the side of the Caliph. So... You know, might as well agree? I swear, if they can force vassalization through a strong hook... I'm changing my stance and mind on the value of hooks because so far I'm not I'm not really convinced hooks are all that worthwhile in terms of gameplay value or anything. Good evening, Ahsoka. Welcome. You're pretty sure you can't? Darn, we'll find out very soon. And we'll see. <laughs> I, I sure hope not. So right now we're just kind of trying to grow a little bit. Oh, we got another perk here. Sappers. Yes, very good. I mean, I've seen someone make an economy run on nothing but hooks. People do be crazy there. But I think you can get to hooks without needing to force vassalization. Oh, someone becomes our friend. That's great. Uh, who is that? My brother-in-law and chancellor to Emir Mina. Ah, it's fine. Having friends is always good. Let's dedicate it to this guy. Ahsoka, how many streams are watching? Are you watching tonight? At at all at once? <laughs> I'm curious. Oh, that was lovely. That was 140% from one siege. Well, very good. Okay, now let's go and help our ally. Maybe. See if they come. So did we just... Okay, we just subjugated him. So he hates our our guts. <laughs> Let's demand some conversion here. 
We're gonna take over India. We're gonna go east for sure. Find secret blackmail people, get money once a bit. So here you cook. Keep it for 20 years and you can milk every four years. Yeah. Now that makes sense. Blessed be Allah. He joined us, Sharism. Why you hate us? Let's see. Accuse him of violating sumptuary law. We would gain some prestige out of that. I don't, I don't, I don't see it. Let's see. What other options do we have here? We could sway the man. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We'll just wait for him to ev inevitably rise and revolt and then we'll take care of him. Just revoke titles. Okay, let's check what that means to us because uh, I'm not a fan of tyranny and I'm also not a fan of stress. So, uh, also he's not going to accept. So that's going to be a tyrannical war. So I'm, I'm not convinced, I must say. Oh! Yes! That was a 200 gold investment. That was worth it. 11 prowess. The prestige sucks. Retreat losses. Minus 20%. I'll take it. I want to not to retreat, but retreat losses minus 20% is actually pretty darn huge. So, yeah, the prowess alone is completely insane. So we just have to put it on. <laughs> and it's illustrious, so it's gonna last us literally forever. Okay, our ally does not seem to think it's a good idea to f come join us, so we're not gonna stand right next to our enemy. And be like, hey! Remember us? <laughs> Wait, was this- is this- is, is this what it's about? Because if this is what it's about, then maybe we go siege it? No, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. Once he's done with that siege, he's just gonna come for us. Nope, I'm... I'm scared right now. I'm literally scared. I would like to do something sensible in this war, but... I literally cannot. This faction thing is, keeps popping up and down. People are confused about what they want to do. Okay, let's go join him. I don't want to be fought alone. Let's just attack. Okay. <laughs> Alright then. I tried to help. I was there when it mattered. <laughs> Alright, so let's rebuild our, our gold stores. And we should absolutely keep converting around here. Maturdi. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna convert it away. Pay ransom. You pay to me? You get a claim throne. Who the hell are you? My vassal? Okay, brother. Okay, now. Alright, now. Listen up. I think it's time for some tyranny. <laughs> you got a claim on my stuff? I got a claim on your life, brother. That's just how it goes now. How much to convince you, my friend? 58 gold. Ah, uh, How much to convince you? 56 gold. You people are all very expensive. I think uh, we'll have to have our, our lady here support our little scheme there. Yes, let's bring this guy in. Show me some reverence. Uh, let's go get some hooks on, let's say, King of Egypt. Or the King of the Sultanate. Why? What would we do with those hooks? Ah, Our girl becomes a thrifty clerk. Lovely. Get gold? No, no, no! You you can't you can't convert hooks to gold. You have to uh, you have to have the lifestyle perk. There's a lifestyle perk you need for it. I'm not sure if it's in in stewardship or in intrigue. I think it's in stewardship. Let's see. Um, there, extort subjects decision is not the one. Uh, where is it? Uh, where is it? 
It's de you, you can't just do it. Like, you have to have the perk. No, it's golden obligation. Golden obligation is where exactly again? There, it's the first one. Demand payment for hooks. Okay. Now, we still have a bunch of uh, Marshall to unlock first. Like, these people aren't much of a threat. Like, this guy... <laughs> <laughs> this guy is the leader of of the peasantry now. Okay. Alright now. And this guy we're just gonna kill. Simple as that. But where is my money? Ah, oh, okay. One faction disbanded. Like this guy keeps recreating his faction. He just keeps dropping in and out of it. Oh no, an alliance expired. Was it an important alliance? Pretty much. That's not quite good. Okay, so... Why am I raising my troops like this? Let's just call our allies in. It's a defensive war. So everyone gets to come. Okay, let's check this war. What's going on here? 1,830 attackers. This guy declared war on us. But I'm raising my troops in the worst possible way. I've never actually clicked on that button. So everyone just gets raised on these various flags, which is completely pointless. <laughs> Not good. I don't know why they did that. I really don't know. I mean, they got themselves some mercenaries and they have a little bit of an ally, so... Alright, but... Let's check if we can't create us another alliance somewhere. Like, we have, th we have the children to do it now. Let's go get us some alliances here. 4,000, that sounds good enough for me. Let's go. Let's get another alliance. I don't even care about anything. I Right now, I just want some manpower on our side. Look for a quick or something. For a what? Oh, quick or genius. Ah, the inheritable trait. Uh, nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We're, we're looking for allies here. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for 4,000 men that we can field for nothing. You guys are so intense on, on trying to finesse the game. Ah, we need traits. We need this. We need that. And I'm just here like... Oh, look. This man looks sympathetic. Let's make him our chancellor. <laughs> I really appreciate it. It's, uh, it's not a way I understand how to play well. I like to make the most out of the least, kind of. Oh, little fortune builder right there. Would you look at that? Can we at least breed the courtiers? Yes. Yes, Ahsoka. We can breed the courtiers. We're gonna do that. Oh, we got a little tough soldier here. Good stuff. Look, the... Oh, the supporting army killed the animation on the battle. <laughs> that was good. We'll breed the courtiers in a second. Let me just get, get a handle on this war here. Okay, let's let's check on those courtiers for you, so so you can sleep tonight. <laughs> All right, so this guy we can't marry because he's a lunatic hunchback apparently, and that is enough to not ever marry. Why can't you marry this? Ah, he's a guest. All right, of course. So this lady needs a man in her life, a strong, dashing man. This guy. Let's get him in here. They have one. I got this guy because she's almost dead anyway. So I just want to bring him into court. Don't worry about it. We'll look for better matches on the other courtiers, okay? I'll even I'll even set the inheritable trade filter for you, okay? I'll even set it. Yeah? 
They need to breed with the genetic ones. Let Mario over the... Okay, so this is a guy. So we'll just get him something. Something that can still produce children. Something that is halfway good. Definitely not our daughters. Look, we have a bunch of traits in our family already. So that's not bad. Let's get him... This one here. Her health is good, so... And she's she's intelligent. Like, she's great. Let's Let's get this lady in here. So this is a daughter of ours. Let's see if we can get a good alliance power. 1000 with a beautiful guy. Or the younger one. Let's take the younger one here. Take that for sure. Betrothed. Find another spouse. And what do we want? We'll take the other intelligent one. I mean, they're still, they still have a chance of children, so that's fine. Let's see who we have. Another daughter of ours. We'll check for matrilineal, alliance power. Our uncle and vassal. I mean, that's a little bit weird, but this guy is Herculean. And it gets us an internal alliance, which we currently do not have. So, let's go with this little weird one. There's a chance of inbreeding, but you know. We're all from Adam and Eve, so where isn't the chance of inbreeding? Let's be honest. Let's be quite honest. Alright, so... Hail. Let's get the robust girl in here. Who else do we have? We all also all hit three genetic bottlenecks. What does that mean? Let's go for matrilineal. Check alliance power again. It's a nephew there. Robust nephew. Sure. You know when we were in Africa? <laughs> Continue. Our courtier. Matrilineal. Let's go. What do we have? Ah, let's get this guy. He's intelligent. Our steward. Not our daughter. For sure not our daughter. There. The beautiful one. Humanity... Oh, uh, wait. Humanity basically... Is basically more inbred than... Species that have nearly died and been repopulated. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. I mean, how many direct descendants does Genghis Khan have? <laughs> like, that's the crazy stuff. Okay, what do we get? Nah, we, we go with... Oh, another Herculean. Let's go. Tiny pointless alliance doesn't matter to us. We're just getting the trades here. I want to leave some of our children open. 50 to 150 million, yeah, something like that. Uh, I want to leave some of the daughters open for alliances, so don't worry about that. Matrilineal match. And we're getting all the halfway young ish. Okay, it's, it's getting a little bit thin here. The options are getting thin. Let's get this guy. Of course, we're also having the chance of making our... Our court a little bit more dangerous because we have all these random people that are suddenly there, you know? A robust girl. Intelligent, beautiful. And let's just get all the beautiful women in here. Like, there's so many beautiful women down there. It's crazy. Doesn't surprise me. Doesn't surprise me. Honestly, Crusader Kings 3 talk in in chat, I just have to constantly permit new terms. <laughs> One dude basically had like 500 kids from sperm donations and made it so there is a zone with, uh, where there is a non-zero percent chance that his children in the Netherlands mating and making it. Oh yeah, I read about that dude. Or I believe I have or some very similar story. Uh, that's That's some crazy stuff right there. 
Let's see, we'll just go by some of all skills on these and then go a little bit by age. Ah, uh, chance of children low. That's not ideal. We want a higher chance of children, ideally. But look at that. There's so many beautiful women. That's so crazy. Okay, matrilineal. And they're thins again. Oh, Herculean. But these are very old, so... But Herculean should live long enough. They should manage to have some children here. Let's go. Okay, are you happy now? We good? Look at how many things I have to accept now. Look at all the messages I'm clicking just for you. We good? Nice. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go over into Twitch right now. And we're gonna set up a viewer reward thing. That you can spend points on, channel points, to tell me to breed the courtiers. Okay? It's gonna be the weirdest channel thing that, that ever existed. But we're gonna set it up. So, you don't even have to... You can just do that thing and we're just gonna go and breed them, alright? I'm not gonna look into how to get more... Uh, we can breed more courtiers. How? We, we went through all of them. Let me set that thing up, okay? Let me th let me set that up real quick. Let me set that up here. Uh, how to do that? <laughs> Not a community there. Breed your courtiers. CK3 only. I will check through our courtiers and make sure they all have some decent spouses and the cost amount will be i don't know i don't i don't want to do it too often sorry 300 points 300 points and i do not have an icon for that so we're just gonna make it a red background for love you know like it's smoldering smoldering hot love And require a viewer to enter text. I think that's just fair. Let's see. There's going to be a cooldown on it. Maximum every 15 minutes. Maximum. And you have to say something. That's just fair. Let's see, is there something in the pre-made icon gallery? Oh god, no. Let's just leave it like that. Create it. 10 channel points! No. No, no. It's 300 channel points. 300. I have created it, so you will now be able to uh, redeem it. And get us going on that courtier breeding program. And channel points. What? No. Oh, what? Oh, look. We, we caught someone. And our battles were really high. So, he pays 281 gold to us. Perfect. We gain a lot of prestige. And valuable prisoners taken by all war participants will be released. And let's... Okay. We can't get a... Hostage from him. Sad. But that wasn't good for him. That didn't work out for him. But you know what that means? He is now ultra weak. <laughs> he has no money and no soldiers. Well! Well, 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 well. Look at this. Uh, I don't know if we have gotten early medieval, but we're going to check in a moment. Why does he have so many allies all of a sudden? What's this? Where are all these from? Wait, one of these is my ally too. Now is the question. For whom will he declare? For whom will he declare? Can I see his relationship to these people? I don't think I can. Like, I don't see how well they like each other. We 
Okay, let's check if we got medieval yet. So if he doesn't join me but joins him, it's more or less an equal contest. Who's this? Is this one of mine? No, he's an outsider. Okay, let's check the medieval thing. If we're in early medieval yet. And we are not, but we could be. We could be. Good, good noticing. I was still working on stuff like gavel kind and all this kind of nonsense. So, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What, what should we pick? I'm a big fan of mangonels, but... Size of men-at-arms regiments plus three and number of men-at-arms might be actually pretty good because as a clan ruler, our men-at-arms are like the backbone of our army. It's... Yeah, he's in debt, but it depends on who, who joins with him, basically. We, s we still have children to get us some stuff, so that's not a problem. Levy size plus 5% doesn't really matter to us. Army movement speed is not bad. Hereditary rule. Enact the petition law, which doesn't matter to us at all. We don't have a petition law as a clan ruler. Doesn't matter. Can fully ignore this, which is not... I like that. That's kind of nice. Early medieval economy buildings. Coinage. Development growth is pretty cool, but I don't think we really need that. Ooh, this might be interesting. The more we grow, tax due restrictions. And building slots extra. That's a pretty powerful thing. I'm a little fear we don't need that. We could use this. But it's not so important. Uh, coinage, 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 yeah. Development growth and coinage rights feudal contract, which I don't think matters to us either. I don't think we have feudal contracts because we are not a feudal ruler, so only the development growth, which is good. Don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm leaning heavily here. But it could also be very wrong. <laughs> could also be very wrong. I don't think we need mangonels just yet. Battlements and all that is also really cool. But we don't really have the money to do anything cool. What about the tribal stuff? Yeah, I mean, mustering grounds, that could help us as well. But that's kind of far away. We were working on Gavelkind uh, to get our domain limit up, which is also a way to increase our strongness, our strength. Uh, crop rotation. Crop rotation is unlocks all tribal era economic buildings, which doesn't matter too much to me, I must say. It's not that important. Banos could be interesting to get some accolades, make our guys stronger. Levy reinforcement rage doesn't matter. Feudal contract doesn't matter. So. Don't focus on what? To get it closer. On, on what? Which one? We have a bunch that might be interesting. Crop rotation. I don't need tribal era economic buildings because we can't really pay for them anyway. Don't have the building slots and we don't really have the money. Uh, we need our money constantly for war. Which of course is kind of offset, but... You know. It's not like we're we're logged on that. That's not in our way. We, we still have enough to build without unlocking that. So I feel like we're being influenced on that anyway. So it's gonna happen anyway in 14 years so why push for it we, we're not going to have enough money in 14 years to really take care of it that's my reason for not pushing it it's going to happen soon anyway so i'd rather go for higher domain limit or household soldiers or even battlements you know better keeps Men at arms maintenance minus 5%. Domain limit. Alright. Let's keep on as we were. And we should wage this war now. I think. 
We just go for it. We see how it, we see how it works out. We still have children to try and uh, take care of this if it goes wrong. Let's move our flag here. So he's still in retreat from being defeated by us just now. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get this guy, who is his strongest ally, and call him in against him. So if he accepts his call to attack, our call to attack, he can't join him in defense. Basically. <laughs> So, let's see what other allies do you have. Okay, this is a vassal of this guy, so he can't join either, I don't think. I think we're good. I really, really like the music here. Functionally, he has no allies. A vassal of a, of a liege cannot join a war where the liege is a belligerent on the other side. And the liege joined us, so all his allies are functionally gone. Uh, the empire should be the Persian Empire. Yep. That's kind of what we're working on. That is also part of the Iranian struggle, like how we can finish it. Could get that Persian Empire through that. And we're the perfect leader. We're flexible, which is lovely around here. Enemy defensive advantage. Minus 50% is big. That's a trait where you can easily, easily crush defenders, even in mountains. And of course, military engineer is just chef's kiss. Best thing. You will have to siege in every war, more or less. So, I don't know. I like the faction he just created, disbanded, created, disbanded. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, that's 48% win. Uh, let's just keep sieging. Let's see where there's money. 10 gold, 13 gold. So we're going to go take that. Our ally will just chase this army around. All good. We just do the siege work. I don't mind this. A one itty bitty little bitty. So concession is never ever going down. It's kind of weird. Oh look at you! You're back! I'm still trying to murder him. 80% chance success, 95% secrecy. So we might just get it done. Let's speed up. Why are we on two speed? Because I get scared. No, that is a different guy? Excuse me? No, that's... Oh yeah, that is a different guy. Wait, but isn't that the guy they want to install all the time? No. That's this guy. Yeah, he he got a claim on me. I don't like that. We'll, we'll, we'll try and kill this guy later. Like, I want this, this other guy, I want him to do his little... I want him to come. I want him to try. The claim guy, he needs to die. Because that is just disrespectful. We can have that. Thank you, ally, for your contribution. Can I demand the hostage? No, I cannot. Couldn't before. So, the Ramazan Atabegat will be destroyed. We seize all territory. Question is, will he become our vassal or do we just get all of this? Nope, lovely. We just get all of that. <laughs> Oh, that was his mistake. That was such a big mistake on his part. Such a horrible, horrible mistake. Let's see who inherits all this stuff here. Okay. This boy. Okay, sure. I don't know. You get something here. I'll just give you this. Wait, no. One of these is mine. Wait. No. Which is Quom. This is Quom. You don't get Quom. Now you don't get Quom. Can I have these new thing new ones here? This newfangled stuff. Now let's get that alliance going. And who's the other one? 
This one here goes to this one. Okay. We'll just give it to him, doesn't really matter. Wait, am I blind? I get confused. Let me let me check this again. You get now you get this one. That's fine. You get a whole dachi, also fine. But you get this thing here. Let's check our court. We have a bunch of counselors who are not strong vassals and who might not be the best suited for their job. Let's see if there's someone. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Our heir and son is actually really good for this, so let's put him in. We have someone better on this end. Oh yeah, he just hates our guts, so that's great. <laughs> Alrighty. So we're allied with this guy. We're not allied with this guy. You have a better marshal. I know I have a better marshal, but our marshal is a strong vassal and he's a family member. He's my uncle, so. Not feeling it. Remember, a courtier got the thing. What thing? An 11 point increase. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. It's fine. Bronze plated scale armor. Oh, go away. We have a perfect armor already. I'm not gonna give you money for that little itty bitty nonsense. Okay, 80% chance he dies. Let's go. Never underestimate the power of a mob. The agitated peasants went wild seeing the leech riding through the streets and tore him and several of his Asvaran from their mounts, beating them to death. Nothing can be traced back to us. Okay, now time to murder this guy. Oh, that's a oh, that's a lovely. That's a lovely outcome. 95 to 95, that's crazy. Okay, who's in charge here now? You. I demand the hostage. Gimme. It's the act of tyranny. All subjects, five. Okay, I don't like tyranny. I'm not a tyrant. I've never played as a tyrant. I don't, I don't agree with that kind of lifestyle. Or leadership style, if you even want to call it that. I don't, I don't feel like that's a... Uh proper thing to do. Oh? Who's fighting this war? Oh, they are. Darn. Snatching up my stuff, are we? Let's see, we need to grow. We need to continue. Conquer a uh, dashi. Oh, he has a bunch. He has one ally. Which is over there. But we have more allies and we have the prestige to bring them in as well. So question is, do we eat into him? It's gonna be a big war, but a war I think we're, we're fine to win. So we'll just keep pressing on. We're just gonna grow as long as we can keep growing. We still have children who don't have a title, can you believe it? Nah, it doesn't matter. As long as I do not create the kingdom title because confederate petition does not exist down here, we can have enough realm to potentially create two kingdoms because it's not going to be created for us. As long as we don't create it, we're fine. So we can just absolutely keep pushing down here. It's not a problem. Um, well, it's not a problem per se. The problem does happen due to the people that we're conquering not considering us as their de jour liege. 
Like that's the main problem that we're getting here with not having the titles associated. We could integrate the titles, of course, but that takes forever and barely ever really works all that well. Or just usually you get kind of beaten to death before you ever get to it. So I think his ally is fairly far away. Our ally is right there. So I think we're just going to push into his realm. It's probably going to get mercenaries. But that's okay. Let's get our allies in here. Let's go with the strongest first. And the small ones here we're not we're not gonna bother with. But you definitely spotted this right. If you're on Confederate petition, you need to be very careful what you conquer. But it doesn't exist in a clan realm, which is lovely. I mean, look at this. Our succession fully exists here. On this scale here. And nowhere, nowhere does it say titles will be created. It doesn't exist. There is no equivalent to Confederate petition in this. Not a single bit. So personally, I prefer clan rule just for that over feudal rule. As immediately much, much better than feudal rule. And of course, we're going to lead ourselves. Let's go siege some stuff here. And we're going to siege the one that actually gives us money first. Big armies duking it out. Let's see. Moans of wheat. No news of droughts or famine have reached my ears yet. Still, the people of Shivrvan complain of bread becoming unreasonably expensive. It is your royal baker Pujman. My courtier Kiriake tells me. He has brought every load of wheat and flour that enters the city and does not allow us to buy even a single mound for ourselves. How dare he? Intriguing, I should keep him close to me. Uh, I think we're gonna go with that. We get then generous bakers. Doesn't really matter for us, but... It will be thrown beneath the feet of horses. I'm fine with losing a little bit of money on this. It's okay. Look at who came, saw, and retreated. Story for the ages. On second thought, we should have taken this bit. My god, look at all these counties in there. That was a bad choice. On my part. I should have looked at the map and not just on the relative size. Marshal perk. Oh, lovely. We become a strategist. Plus one diplomacy. Plus three marshal. Enemy fragile casualties. Plus 25%. Hello now. Crosses rivers and straits without advantage penalties. Yes. He is the perfect leader. Perfect knight. We'll just speed this up because we're kind of strong. I'm not afraid for once. And we're just going to cut him off there. Beat his army into submission. Before his ally can join up with him. No problem. And then we go keep on taking stuff there. Oh, did we kill the full army? No, I don't believe so. Oh, I think we, we fully destroyed the army. Yep. That was a complete wipeout route. He lost all his troops there. How unfortunate. And there come the mercenaries. Ah, oh, she's a thrifty clerk. Okay, let's get you someone. Let's get you someone. Is there someone with a halfway decent alliance power? 
Okay, now you get this basically, whether it's matrilineal or not. So I say... We go with this guy. I mean, he's beautiful. He's young. It's fine. It's a thousand men. I'll take it. Alright, and now we need to go take this thing here. Good evening, Captain Bira. So nice you could join us. So happy you're back. Honestly, at this point, I'm I'm so cozy that I actually got some regulars here. Soka, Captain Bira. It's just I don't know. Makes me happy. Okay, our enemies are looking to retake what we have taken, but it's fine. Just gonna fight here. Oh, look. Army coming to fight us. Let's see. I hope you're not afraid of scorpions, Zand. And, 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 and. My little friend has done his work well. He's killed by us and no one knows it was our doing. So we're done with this factionism up here now. Who's who's in charge now? You. Okay. Chill, I don't know what to play. How about you? We are... We are going here. We are going. We are taking on Persia. Modify vassal contract. I will click on it, but only because it's you. <laughs> what do you want? We're not feudal. We don't have any we don't have any cool options. We can only basically give them good stuff. Or go for march, which we can't. Because we don't have banners, so. <laughs> Nothing really for us to do as a clan. So we defeated that army not so soundly as we should have. And our allies might get defeated up there. Oh, actually they might not. That looks almost even. That is even. Okay, they're losing now, but... We will come at the seventh hour and just completely wipe him out. Let's go. Let's, uh, can't demand hostages? Darn. Why does no one have children around here? Alright, more conquering. More taking of land. And there's more for us to take still. Let's check succession who gets what. You, my little boy, get that. But I don't want to keep it all with our... With our kids here. Uh, they have too much claims. Let, let's give these to other family members. And we want Dynasty Sassanid. Only Sassanid dynastic members. Our cousin and brother-in-law. Eh. Who should we take? I mean, we, okay, we can do once. For once we can do something here. Content. For once, for once, okay, we don't, there is no one here that is content. <laughs> is there someone who is maybe loyal? Nope. No loyal or content people. You say your cousin could use this, but we have so many cousins. The Herculean one? Where do you see Herculean one? This guy? I don't see a Herculean one. Unless you mean the robust one. Could give it to some grandsons. Let's give it to a grandson. Okay, one goes to the grandson and the other goes to the robust one. Okay? Our little nephew. And now we go make alliances. And we already have an alliance here. Interesting. Well then, hello, how are you doing today? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Might just get bad. Weird way of telling us your fetishes. Um, breed your courtiers was redeemed. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
In reality, Crusader Kings 3 is a harem simulator game. That's what this game truly is. We did it five years ago, but we never know. We're gonna go check. Let me just start this war here. And then we'll get in on the courtier breeding thing. And I would like to personally lead because I am a beast of warfare. Okay, courtiers. Let's check through. Maybe there is someone who doesn't have anyone yet. You never know in my court. But it looks good. Oh, oh, see? We forgot a daughter or we kept the daughter for later. But given the amount of alliances we have, I don't think we're going to get much good anymore. So we're just going to go for, for alliance power and we set it to matrilineal. And this is all inside our realm, isn't it? Ah, this. We have Gurgan. Maybe the quick and robust one? Like, he has two traits to get. And she's quick as well, so quick is kind of guaranteed. I think we're going to go with this one. Ah, another daughter. But we're going to keep that free. But this courtier here is going to become a knight. We need knights. The music is so good, though, isn't it? So good. Alliance power doesn't matter, so we're gonna go with some of all skills. And try and find someone young, maybe. I would go with the albino. I want more albinos in my lands. Vibin' to the music. Really? It's so good. Does anyone know what I would need to search for to get music like this on Spotify or YouTube? Let the trader be known to all. Uh, throw him in jail? Absolutely. He's trying to kill my Amira. And now that he's in jail, let's go have a little look-see at him. Which one was that? For one day, it was him. Mr. Jakub? Ah. Again, I'm not a tyrant. I'm just kind of mean a little bit. Okay, he's in the dungeon. He's not in house arrest. Okay, it's fine. Can we torture him? Does that hurt? I mean, us. I mean. Okay, no, we're generous. We're generous. We're not going to do that. Besides my personal... Objections against this, you know. We're well, just gonna go with that. An alliance expired. Is that an important alliance? Who's your. Maybe? I hate that I can't tell who's the successor there. Ah, it's not so bad. Another one trying to kill our Amira. What's going on? Into jail you go. That is what's going on. Oh, I don't want to send you a gift. Okay, we have nothing. Person can be sponsored. A master wants to write about medicine. Should we sponsor it? I'm not going to do a poll. We, we have so few people in chat right now. So let's just... Oh, <laughs> 180 gold. For a sponsored master, medicine will help with health, for sure. Might be worth it in the long run. Let's go for it. Let's spend a little bit. Did I just invite her for 180 and didn't even sponsor it? I'm... Oh, 
boy. That thing better turn out fire. But another courtier to breed. <laughs> okay, where is she? Yeah, it can do good, but the problem is that that I just brought her into court for 180 gold. It wasn't even for the sponsorship of the thing. There's a courtier with no husband. What do you mean? I mean, the one we just brought on. Yeah, it should be. But which one is it? Shouldn't she have, like, a golden thing? There she is. Her spouse... Cessus died. Okay, let's find your spouse then. Matrilineal, you definitely stay in my court. For sure, for sure. Herculean? If they have a red circle, they don't have a spouse. What? What red circle? That? Because she doesn't have any red circle and she doesn't have a spouse. Oh, she's an Abbasid. Alright. What red circle do you mean? This one? Because this is just an alert that they're gonna leave soon. Antiquarian? Meme? What? What's going on? I lost the thread. Okay, we're we're over our domain limit because why? Did we inherit something again? We just conquered something and didn't give it away yet. That's that's the thing. Oh right, we built something. We built that temple. We built the temple and we can hold the temples. Yes, that's that. Yakchal. Okay. Let's grant this place to someone. Cousin, 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 nephew, 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 cousin. Cousin. Robust one. Someone who doesn't have a title yet, basically. Um, Let's give it to the... To the albino. And let's see if he's gonna go into that alliance with us. We could be so rich. Uh, the temple we keep. We keep the temple. Why would we give that away? That's a good income source. These bring money. These bring decent money. I mean, if we had anything to spend on it, but... I don't know. It'll bring us money. Personally, I like to keep all the holdings in my main county. That's what I like to do. That allows us to build tall. Right there where we are. Since you can go convert them back. <laughs> Tensions eased. Something about frontier heresies. Okay, we'll just take this, potentially get some stress, but Valia of Quum gained tensions ease for 20 years, so that's nice. Daughter learns the language. Don't care. We might have to think about some duchies eventually. Oh, would you look at that? Big shame. Goodbye. And another thing to give away. Let's see. Our courtier and brother-in-law. I mean, he loves us. And I might as well give him this. So what? This shard we could give away. But that's just literally one thing. Or two things. And all of these are allied to us. It doesn't really matter. 
I'm gonna keep pushing the intermezzo events. And now we need to save some money because I made some very, very bad choices with money. <laughs> Let's go replenish that. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna cut off for the YouTube watching crowd right now. So if you're watching over on YouTube, thank you very much. Subscribe, check out the Twitch Beat stream, Creative Kings 3, twice a week on Saturdays and Mondays. And on Thursday, we're gonna stream like DD stuff, Civilization 6 stuff, whatever stuff. And yeah, if you want, join us over on Twitch, join chat, help decide the fate of this kingdom. And potentially the Persian Empire down the road. Thank you very much for watching. See you around. Goodbye.